So there's tons of camera drones out there right now, and they all have their own features and drawbacks, but if you had to choose one, what would you choose? You could go with something with the best camera, or maybe something with the best features for the price. But what if both of those options are just way too large? What if you need something that can go everywhere where a smartphone or a tablet would go? Something that you can take with you everywhere you go. This is the DJI Mavic Pro, and possibly the smallest drone to ever shoot 4K stabilized video. It might not look like it, but the Mavic actually has all of the features of the Phantom 4 packed into a size that's truly mobile. Unlike most portable drones, the Mavic actually folds in on itself, which means that the arms and props don't stick out. This makes it insanely small. We've only had the Mavic for a few days, but from what we can see, it's really easy to use and possibly easier than the Phantom 4. Since the propellers fold up, you no longer have to worry about mounting them, and if you're staying within a small area, you don't even have to use a controller. Disconnect the Mavic over Wi-Fi, calibrate the compass if it asks you to, and slide your finger to take off, just like any of DJI's other drones. As far as flight characteristics go, it seems like the Mavic flies even better than the Phantom 4, but I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because of the smaller size, but it definitely stays where you put it. And speaking of the Phantom 4, the Mavic also has front-facing obstacle avoidance, and so far it seems to work pretty well, but we'll have to do more testing to see if it's improved. Another thing that we didn't really get a chance to test is the video quality. We didn't record much, but what we did record looks pretty good, so here's two really short test clips that we shot with no effects or color correction added, just so you have some video to look at. Now the last thing that you should know about with the Mavic Pro is the controller. It has a completely new controller design, it's super small, way smaller than the Phantom 4 remote, and the bottom section folds out with a dock to hold your smartphone. The reason why you want to use the controller is because you're basically getting a longer range of 4.3 miles, a 1080p video feed, a dedicated LCD screen for showing basic flight info, more dedicated controls, and sport mode, which is one of my favorite features of the Phantom 4. All in all, I would say that the Mavic is everything that we expected it to be, but there's still a lot of new features that we haven't tested out yet. Some of these features are things like new active track modes, and a new terrain follow mode which keeps the Mavic from hitting the ground when you're flying over hills. There's even a new product that we didn't get to test called DJI Goggle, which is basically a 1080p virtual reality headset that wirelessly communicates with the Mavic just like how the controllers do. So we're definitely going to be trying those out as soon as they're released as well as posting all kinds of other information at myfirstdrone.com forward slash Mavic.